Hello, and welcome again to Word from the Word. We're going to be talking today about two words, actually, according to. And I want to direct your attention to Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, where it says, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. You know, I love that verse, and some of the versions, other translations will even add words like above and beyond all that you can ask, think, imagine, or pray, and the desires of our heart. And I believe God really wants to do that, but we have to be careful that we don't omit that second phrase that says, according to the power that works in us. As believers of Jesus Christ, we possess the resurrection power of God himself because our spirit, our saved, born-again spirit, is wall-to-wall Holy Spirit. And we sing the song, the same power that raised Christ from the dead lives in us. But what you're believing for has to tap into and activate that power. What are we daring to believe God for? Those things that are above and beyond our even our wildest imagination and expectation, God is able to do. But he does not have the power to do anything past what we're willing to believe for. So it's kind of saying, uh, in a sense, in proportion to the faith that you're releasing for this thing that you're needing or believing him for. And God is always trying to get good things to us. He's not withholding any good thing. But are we limiting him by not releasing the faith that is already in us and believing that God is so good when these things, these these desires that we have line up with things that God wants to bring to us, his promises, absolutely release the faith in in accordance to what you are believing God for. So I don't know about you, but I am not satisfied living far below what Jesus paid so great a price for us to enjoy in our lives. Let's activate that same power that raised Christ from the dead. Have our faith in proportion to those very things that we are asking and believing God for. Let's accept the challenge today and choose to believe God that he wants to bless you and all we can do and all we need to do is release that faith in proportion to what we are asking and trusting him to give us. And that, my friend, is another word from the word for today.